update a thumbnail here. Guys, I'll be just uh, getting started here in just a moment. Just updating a thumbnail and everything, and uh, then I'm gonna start working on this piece, and I'll explain what it is I'm doing in a second. Go and lay down. Go. Let's see. We can keep it like that. That's fine. Okay, so um, for anyone watching this uh, at a future date, um, I don't have anyone here in the stream right now, but I'll explain, I guess, a little bit later again what I'm doing. Um, I just recently watched the movie Jumanji. And I wanted to go ahead and draw one of the characters, so I thought I would go ahead and draw Martha, um, but in her game form. So that's uh, that's what I have here. She's in my style, of course. Um, I gotta fix this. There we go. Um, she's def she's definitely my style of character. But uh, while I am working on this in the stream, I also wanted to note that or mention that I do have a new camera, so I'm testing out the new camera. Uh, for the first time, so I hope everyone can hear me okay for those of you that are watching in the future. And um, it's a little bit dark here because I am going to turn on the light pad in a bit and do a little bit of um, inking. I'm using some, um, this is a bristle paper that I'm using here today, and I'm going to be using a bit of gouache, I think, a little bit of watercolor, but mostly Copics to get this piece done. But I, I have to tape everything up. Um, yet, so I thought that uh, I would do the little bit more boring things, I guess, um, and get everything set up and start the inking process um, while we wait to see if anyone does jump in and uh, chat on the stream here. So I'm just going to go ahead. I also have some Copic multi-liners here as well um, in these sizes if anyone's interested. These are usually the ones that I typically use um, to do my inking and everything in. So that's what I'm going to be doing here today. I'm just going to turn this on just so I can see. It, the video may get a little bit wonky. I've never used, I've never used, um, okay, so this is not the paper, so I'm going to turn it over. What I'm trying to say is I've never used my light pad while recording live like this, so this is going to be new, and I've never really inked anything while doing other things as well, so that's going to be new. Um, now that I have my drawing turned over, she looks a little bit wonky in the reverse side there, but we're gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and trace her onto the paper here anyway. I hope that uh, we get someone comes and chats with me a little bit later. Um, I think I, I don't know if I mentioned or if I lost track, but I am recording this um, to go up as a time-lapse video as well while I'm doing it in the stream. But it's not going to be posted, maybe not until June or July. So it's going to be um, a little bit later. So if anyone's watching the, um, the live stream, then it'll be quite some time before the, uh, the drawing actually goes up on the on the channel, so it'll be quite a bit of a distance in between. Alright, so that's what we have. I probably didn't need to use this whole big piece of paper, but I'm just not in the mood to get the scissors and everything going, so... I'm just going to jump right in with the, I, base, I usually line with the smallest marker that I have first, so the smallest multi-liner, and then I work my way up afterwards because then if my lines are a little bit shabby, I can uh, go back in with, um, I can go back in with the, uh, the bigger markers or the bigger pens and, and fix that up, so. 
I did find a bit of music here to play in the background. If someone uh, could let me know if it sounds okay if anyone pops into the stream here. get started here right away.
I hope this music is not too ridiculously loud for anyone that's watching this back. night is a bad time to stream because I'm 14 minutes in and nobody's showed up yet. Maybe I should start announcing that I'm streaming. doing today. Is the music too loud? The, um, tablet or the light box that I'm using is just a Humeon, um, it's a Humeon tablet or a, a light pad. Um, I think it's about 17 inches, give or take. Okay, let's, let's turn it down just slightly. There we go, maybe that's a little bit better. I thought I'd have some music today for 
uh, for the times where I'm a little bit quiet, because I tend to get quiet when I'm inking, so. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm just working on some uh, fan art here today. I watched Jumanji a couple of nights ago and thought that I would draw one of the characters. So that's what I'm doing now. Thank you for popping into the stream and saying hi. really awkward at doing these outside lines. Anything that's angular, I always tend to mess up. There we go. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I, I haven't been announcing that I've been live streaming um, because sometimes I tend to change my, my mind right at the last minute, so. <laughs> I figure I'd just leave it as it is, and if someone comes, if someone comes, then they, then they show up. I'm actually recording this in the background as well for um, a speed video for the channel. So whoever doesn't, uh, whoever can't make it to the stream today or would rather watch the sped up version, then it'll be available um, in just a little while. Awesome, thank you. I'm going to be trying to stream a lot in the next couple of months um, because um, when August or the end of July hits actually, I'm going to be moving. So I'm just trying to uh, get in as much streaming as I can now. Hello Rose City Crafter, how are you doing today? Thank you for stopping into the stream. That's awesome, it's always good to Always great to know everyone's having a good day. So where are you guys all watching from? I guess I should mention that if this is the first time that you've been on my stream, that I'm streaming from uh, Manitoba, Canada. Oh, Michigan, awesome. And Portland, wow. I usually get a lot of people on here from the States. I've had a couple from the UK, but mostly, mostly everyone that watches is from the United States. Trying to take my time a little bit here with uh, with the inking because I have a tendency to dab my hand in the ink and I've already done that once so I usually ink off stream or off video and, and do all my um, my painting and, and coloring and whatnot during the video but I decided to do some inking live today so I don't know how this is going to go but we're, we're trying we're trying Faith, 
How's it? I can't do English today. How's it going? I can't seem to, to speak English. That's awesome. You're not streaming tonight? I checked my subscriber list first to see if anyone was streaming, and I didn't see anyone streaming, so I thought I would. So I hope I'm not overlapping anyone. I'm left-handed and smear my art all the time. Uh, I, I'm awful, and, and I try to be cautious about what I'm doing. And I'm going to just pause this music right now because I can't talk over that. I can't talk over that. Um, but I, I try to keep it in mind that I'm using ink, but I'm so impatient and I want to keep going that I keep dabbing my hand that I've already messed up down here. But the good thing is I can clean that up with my um, digital, my graphics tablet, so it'll be, it'll be fine. Awesome. No more streaming tonight. Your last coloring page that you did was really good. I think I've only ever done one adult coloring page here on my channel, and I didn't get very good um, feedback from it, so I haven't done one since. I don't know if maybe the subscribers I have now would appreciate the um, adult coloring a little bit more than the ones that I had back when I did that, um, but maybe it's something that I could try again in the future. Because I, I created my own coloring book, so I, I have tons of coloring pages that I could do along with, um, you know, digital things that I can find, so. Would be, would be a neat thing to do. Uh, Sunday's work for me, people like to relax and enjoy. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I have to pick and choose when I can stream because tonight my other half has gone to work so it's quiet here the dogs are sleeping the the kids gone to her grandmother's so everything everything is nice and quiet and so I decided to stream um, that's terrible someone would say something negative I get a lot of negativity on my channel um, I just actually did a video about that so it's it's really not uncommon here and I've been trying to block out that negativity so going forward hopefully it won't be seen as much um, but I can only do so much um, I will be doing yours soon. You'll be seeing your work on my channel. Awesome! That is so cool. And again, you didn't have to do that. It's not why, not why I sent them, but I really appreciate it. And I find this is where I mess up when I'm inking. I have been busy posting movies to sell on my local Facebook sales sites. Ah, yeah, that can be a, a task all on its own. We've been posting our house on a local Facebook site, so. <laughs> uh, what do you all like to color with? I have Prismacolors, and I have a ton of Copics that I like to use. I also have some other markers, but I don't really like to um, I don't really like to use them. So Prismacolors is usually what I use most for coloring books with. But if I'm doing something like this, I like to color with Copics or, or watercolor. Uh, I've just begun to get thumbs down from a few, but I can't let them get me down. I get a lot of thumbs down on my video. A couple of the videos that I have really um, popular ones with like 30 plus thousand views. I get thumbs down quite a bit, um, but those are videos that I made back when I first started, so people tend to um, hate on those a little bit more than my newer ones, so I kind of got used to it. Um, I have way too many, and I'm preparing to move, so I want... Oh, you're moving to Faith. Are you moving close by, or are you like moving across the, the country like I'm doing, or...
Yeah, the, the trolls are are a little bit much. Um, I haven't had any any bad comments this week. I'm trying not to put my hand in what I've already got inked here. I haven't had any trolls this week. Uh, last week it was really bad, um, and I talked about that in my last uh, in my last live stream. So I won't bore people again with it in this one. But it is what it is, and I feel like I'm over it. So that's a good thing. I gotta move my mouse here. If not, I'm gonna start shutting down the stream. Got my arms and elbows everywhere. I don't have that big of a space. I'm, I'm literally working in like a, a four foot section of a table here and that's that's my space right now so I'm all over the place. Um, I want to move across the country but I have grandkids here. Oh, I see you're moving local. Usually subscribers... Oh, her mouth is crooked. Usually subscribers aren't the ones leaving the, the bad comments and it's usually um, just people passing through that want to be rude. That's what I found anyway. I haven't really had any um, any subscribers say anything rude or mean or anything to me. So that's good. So at least I know the people that are making the, the mean comments are those that are just passing through. Oh, uh, I'm a new grandmom. Love him so much. Oh, congratulations, Rose. That's awesome. Let's see if I can't mess this up. Sometimes I find it really hard to see what I've drawn and that's what messes up my lines a little bit. Sometimes the paper is really thick and it's hard to see through. Sorry, I tend to get quiet when I'm inking. I'm trying my best. What tablet are you using for your art? Do you mean the the the, the light pad that I'm using in the background, or the the graphics one that I just mentioned? Uh, I have a uh, Huion GT uh, 18, hang on, 18.5 or 18.5, something along those lines, GT 185, that's what it's called, it's a Huion GT 185. I actually, um, I sold all my acrylic paints two years ago, I had um, about $1,500 worth of golden paints that I sold um, just to get enough money to buy the graphics tablet. So that's why I no longer use acrylics on my channel anymore because I don't have any. And I was kind of getting bored with uh, acrylics anyway and I wanted to change and I knew that I was getting into um, working with illustration and, and whatnot so I thought it would have been a good idea for me to sell it all the acrylic paints and then buy something that I knew I would use. I have a Wacom and can't figure out the pen. Um, usually there's some graph there's some drivers that you would have to download to, to use the pen. I have a bamboo as well um, which is a Wacom um, but I it's not uh, you can't draw on the screen like the other tablet that I have and I prefer the one where you can draw on the screen a lot better. It's a lot easier for me to use but I think maybe um, if you can't figure out the pen maybe it's just like a, a driver issue and you have to install the driver.
I would love to have a Cintiq, but I don't feel like I'm good enough with digital art yet to pay that much for such a, an expensive piece of equipment, so. <laughs> but yeah, my guess is that you need a driver for the pen. I'm not sure. Um, the pen that I have, it plugs in to charge, and I think it has drivers with it as well, but it installed when I installed everything for the tablet, so. I'm trying not to mess this up. This is a little bit harder to see than I was expecting. Um, if anyone is curious, I'm using, um, what is it? It is the Canson Bristol um, paper. And so I usually use watercolor paper, but since I'm going to be using some Copics, I thought that I would, um, let's see, um, I thought that I would just, uh, use Bristol paper, paper tonight. can't see through paper to see what's happening here. I always find that my sketches are a lot better than the inked page after I transfer it. I don't know if, if anyone else um, does what I'm doing here and feels the same way. But I always find that my other my my sketch looks a lot better than the inked product. So has anyone else seen the new Jumanji movie? Because I only saw it last not last night but the night before, and I thought it was pretty cool. Big fan of the old Jumanji movie as well. Of course, Robin Williams is in it, so how can you not like it? I thought it was really funny. Um, Jack Black's character, his, he played uh, he played a female. Um, it, it was really funny. And there's one scene. I won't I won't see any spoilers, but there's just one scene in the movie that I just can't get out of my head, and it's it's really funny. It's hilarious. Got to peek underneath here because I don't know what I have done. Hi Jack, how's it going? The original Jumanji is really good as well. Um, the new one is definitely different than the old one. <laughs> definitely different, but it was fun though. It was a good movie. You don't pick it apart too much and, and it's really enjoyable. Let's see, what have I got done underneath here? Okay. That's going up underneath there like that. This is horrible when you can't see through the paper. But you would think since I did draw it, I'd know what I'm doing, but of course I don't. Not that bright.
I found the new Jumanji movie had a little more, um, a little more humor. I don't know, maybe it's just me. It had maybe not a little more humor, but it, it had more, uh, more adult humor in it, as I think the first one was more towards kids, but the second one definitely has a whole lot of adult humor in it. Uh, it was fun. It's not vulgar or anything, just just in case someone needs to know that it's not a vulgar movie by any means. It's it's really funny. And I don't typically do fan art stuff, but I've been wanting to draw another female character and I didn't know what to do, so I just decided to do this. So has anyone else seen any good movies lately? Oh really? They do, um, I can't say anything. Never mind. I won't say it because it might be, it might, it might ruin something for someone, so I won't say anything else about the movie. I don't want to, I don't want to be responsible for spoilers. I didn't know that though, that it was a tribute to Robin Williams, but it's, it's neat. That's pretty cool. He was a very, very good actor. Oh, looks like I have one of her eyes bigger than the other. I'm not that really, I'm not a really big movie buff, but, and there's not really a whole lot of movies coming out this year that I think that I want to see, to be honest. I was really excited to see the new Pirates of the Caribbean when it came out. I know that was, it's been a while since that's been out now, but. Um, I wasn't really that impressed with the movie when I saw it. I'm probably going to get a bit of backlash for saying that from somebody, but I, it wasn't my favorite of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies at all. Right. I've done that part of the inking, so I can pull this off. This is just here. I'm mostly excited for the Marvel lineup. Um, Black Panther was playing here this weekend. I know that might sound strange to some people because it's it's been out for a while, but um, our movie theater is very small, and we tend to get movies um, way past the date that they originally come out. So we're kind of behind in the times here when, when it comes to movies. But um, I don't really know which movies that are coming out. I know we just recently watched the newest Thor movie, um, Ragnarok, and that was pretty good. My uh, fiancé is a real big um, comic book. I wouldn't say he's a comic book geek, I suppose, but he do like, and he does like the Thor movies, and um, they're not really my type movies, but I watched them anyway because it's only fair if I want him to watch things that I want to see, so... But the newest Thor movie was pretty good. And it was funny. Punisher on Netflix was good. I watched, uh, let's see, I've seen Wonder Woman. That was a really good movie. That one wasn't too bad at all. Um, and I watched Punisher a long time ago. I think if it's the same movie that I'm thinking of. And... Um, if it's the same one I'm thinking of, I don't think I liked it because I'm not that big into blood and gore and stuff. I like spooky movies more than I like um, gory movies. So I think The Punisher was one that maybe I thought was a bit gory if I'm remembering correctly.
going to tape my, oops, my drawing back in my book here before I lose it. The Pun Punisher was a series on Netflix. Cause I, re I think I remember watching a movie a long time ago um, that was called Punisher and it was very gory. Unless, like I said, I'm getting them, I'm getting them mixed up. going to tape this back in. Oh, okay. It must be something different I'm thinking of that um, unless they did a movie and a series. Has anyone seen the, um, I don't know if, how much difference the, um, the American Netflix is compared to Canada. I know the Canadian Netflix, it sucks. It really sucks. There's a lot of things that we would like to watch that we can't watch because it's not on the Canadian Netflix. Um, but there's a show on there called Ghost Wars, I think. Um, it looks like it's kind of gory. I'm wondering if anyone's had a look at that and let me know what it's like if you've seen it. We've been watching a lot of reality shows lately, um, when we do actually sit down and watch things. I'm just going to uh, start to another picture there, but this is the sketch. I'll show you what I mean. I find that the, that the um, actual picture, the drawing looks so much better than the sketch, but usually it starts looking better when I start uh, doing all the coloring and, and whatnot, it'll start looking better. The Ghost Wars doesn't seem to be on American Netflix. Hmm. I love Face Off, but I don't know if it's still on air. Yeah, I don't think that's on the Canadian one. Like, like I said, the Canadian Netflix is so horrible. It gives me ideas for art. Which, what gives you ideas for art? The face-off movie or its show? I'm going to see if I can't get a little bit more light on this page here because it seems like it's really, really dark. That is strange. That is strange. Anyway, it looks, it, it's, um, the, the show that I'm, I'm talking about, um, it's kind of, um, how can I put it? it? It's a town and they're dealing with paranormal activities and apparently it's really, it's gory though from what I've seen and I'm, like I said, I'm not that big in the gory stuff so it has me a little confused as to whether or not I want to watch it. I'll have to fix that when I go in color because I don't like the way that I have the lines on our hair. Oops. My lighting seems horrible in here tonight. I don't know what's up with that. So I'm basically just going to go in and redo some of these lines because I don't like the way they look. So I'm just going to go in and copy the, um, the sketch just a little bit more so I can go in and redo the lines.
So do you guys have a preferred um, medium that you like working with? Well, I have to go and help out my daughter with baby. Love your art. Have a great night. Thank you so much for popping by, Rose. Really appreciate it. And have fun with the baby. I love my Copics. I love my Copics as well. I've only had Copics for the past two years, so I'm still learning how to use them. And um, I just, uh, my fiance just ordered the... Um, the 36 E set. So when they arrive, have a great night, Rose. When they um, when they arrive, I'll have all of the um, chow markers, and then I have to start collecting the um, the sketch markers. I think all in all, I have probably well, I have all the sketch. That'll be 182, I think, when I get those, and then I probably have 50 or 60 above that. So I have a nice collection of Copics. I had some music on in the background, but it was kind of getting annoying trying to have him to talk over it, so I just turned it off. I can turn it back on if anyone wants me to, but I don't think it's the greatest music in the world. I keep reminding people that um, YouTube really doesn't like you streaming music, but I found a uh, no copyright, um, what do you call it, a playlist on, on YouTube. So that's what I was playing, but it's not not the, not the greatest music. I should start coloring this pretty soon. Just going in and just making some different line weights, just to give it a little bit more, a little bit more oomph, I guess. I don't I was still learning how to ink and everything as well, so I mean I'm not I'm not the greatest um, illustrator yet, but you know it's I'm aspiring to be. It takes time to learn. Yep, I feel like I messed up on the hair quite a bit, but like I said, I can go back in and um, she's going to have pretty dark hair, so I'll be able to fix that up when I go in and, and do the hair. So if anyone missed right from the get-go here, this is supposed to be the Martha character um, in the new Jumanji movie. Um, in the game, not not the character, like, like the, the younger girl, but the, the one that goes through the game. But I, I, I have a certain style that I like to draw with, so she's more in my style of artwork rather than um, looking more like the character from the, the movie. So but this is what it's based on anyway. If I'm sure you're able to figure it out, though. I just need to give this a, a second or two just to, to dry a little because if not, I tend to, uh, when I start coloring my skin tones, um, I tend to smear the black ink quite a bit and I, I don't think I let it dry enough. So I'm just going to give it a little bit here to dry while I'm 
messing around trying to fill in the lines. <coughs> Excuse me. I guess I could start with the hair first and then if I actually if I mess that up then I can easily fix it. So maybe that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. It seems really dark. I'm gonna see if I can't brighten this up a little bit because I don't like the way the um bear with me here just a moment. Doesn't seem like it wants to get any brighter here. I usually stream with my um, with my cell phone, but I decided to decided to get a new camera, and the camera is really really dark. See if that worked any. Don't think so. Oh well guys, sorry, I think it's gonna have to it is what it is. I hope it's not too dark. I know on one of my screens it seems very, very dark, but Okay, so I'm going to start with her hair first because then if I mess it up, then at least she's going to have dark hair. So we'll start there. You see to bring up my reference picture. And like I said, if you don't get a chance to, um, okay, so the that's good. It's, as long as um, the people on the receiving end of the video it shows up good, I'm, I'm good with that. Just it, it does look really dark on my one of my monitors here, so. But if it looks good, it looks good. We'll just leave it at that. Um, what I was going to say is I am recording this to be a video on the channel as well in um, the near future. So if you don't get a chance to see the entire stream or if I don't get a chance to finish this on the stream, I'm going to try to, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, then you'll be able to watch the, uh, the playback afterwards. Excuse me. It's nice that I can just stream now and not have to worry about my phone overheating or anything like that. And I can just stream and, and just stream as long as I want, so it's kind of exciting. It's supposed to be a high definition camera, so I hope that it's um, it's streaming decently anyway. I guess her hair is not going to be that dark, but... At this point in time in the stream, I start to run out of things to talk about, so if anyone has a, a subject or a question or what have you, feel free to, feel free to say something. I think I'm going to start this one. I noticed today as well when I was testing out the stream that a lot of my blue greens are showing up blue. All of these right here are supposed to be blue greens and they're showing blue on the camera so that's a little strange. Let's see if I can stick 
get some here. There we go. You see blue green? That's great because I don't get blue green on. Maybe there's something wrong with my monitors because on on one computer it shows slightly a blue green, but then on the the monitor that I'm using and it's a fairly it's it's a TV. Um, it's fairly new. It doesn't even show. It looks it looks blue. So it's a little bit strange. Unfortunately, I can't zoom in any. So. 31, 35, this is kind of where I have to be. Um, uh, yeah, it, it, the screens are fairly bright and, um, well, the, the laptop is kind of configured on its own, so it should be, it should be fine. I have nothing but technical difficulties anyway, so <laughs> that's it's just my luck. Just my luck. Let's see here. Balanced. Just checking to make sure. Yeah, the screen it's way up. So it's it's where it should be. When I use my Copics, I tend to go from light to dark, and I end up wasting a lot of ink. Wow, well, okay. That's weird. My colorless blender is blue. Uh, is it an older monitor? Sometimes they just don't show color as a newer one. No, it's fairly new. It's um, about a year old. Um, it's an RCA. I don't know. I guess I'm assuming it's good. Well, my colorless blender is now blue. That is awesome. I have a question that maybe somebody can answer for me, um, maybe, possibly. Do any of you guys have a Copic airbrush? Because if you do, I would love some tips because I can't get mine to work properly. Yeah, this is like putting blue ink on the paper. I'm going to use the other one. Again. Well, the Copic Airbrush is not that expensive. I know the um, the air gun, and well, I have a compressor. Have a good night, Jack. Thanks for stopping by. I have um, the compressor that can be used with an actual air gun, um, and I, I don't know if I have a problem with the compressor or if the airbrush just doesn't want to work for me. So, I guess I'll just have to continue to play around with it and see what happens.
I'm using Copics. I tend to lay down flat highlight color that I'm going to use first. Some people may think that it's a waste of ink, but it's the only way I know how to do it. I find that this bristle pa um, paper is really not good with um, with markers. Jack says, any tips on improving drawing every day? Um, really the only way to improve is to draw every day. Um, that's what I've been doing. I have a sketchbook and I'm, I'm actually forcing myself to draw things that I wouldn't normally draw and I find that I've been doing pretty good with that. Um, for instance, I, I don't draw animals very well and I'm still working on anatomy so I'm forcing myself to draw either or or both every day if I can and even in the short period of time that I've been doing it it's been about maybe a month and a half I feel like I'm showing some progression already so um, a tip for me would be just to, to get a sketchbook and just make sure you you at least 15 20 minutes a day just sketch whatever and you know even if it's not the best then just don't toss it and um, after a while you'll definitely see the uh, improvement in your in your drawing hope that little tidbit of advice helps a little bit. My uh, fiance and I were talking last night because he's just learning how to draw as well. And uh, he finds it very hard. He's one of those people where he's like, I want to draw this, I want to draw it now, and I want it to be good. And I'm like, you know what, it's not going to work that way. Like I'm, you know, have to try to explain to him, like, you know, if you want to improve, you have to draw every day. You have to force yourself to draw things that you probably wouldn't normally draw just so you can improve and, and get better that way. I think I may have hurt his feelings a little bit, but, <laughs> you know. Sometimes you just got to suck it up and do what you don't want to do to be able to get better at something. Sometimes I, sorry, I, I try to draw every day, but sometimes it's just blah. Yeah, I feel that way too, to be honest with you. And I, I don't think that you're the only one that feels that way. Um, but it's really, I guess, I know for myself, I really strive to do better. And not just to, not just for other people, but I really want to be able to improve for myself. And I find that even though I, I don't want to draw every day, then I just I force myself to do it. It's kind of like I go to work every day and I don't really want to, but I know I have to if I want to get paid kind of thing. So it's just one of those things where it's like suck it up and, and just do it. You know, that's the only way that you can get through it. Yeah, you know, after you do it for a while, then it'll, be, it'll become... Um, somewhat of a routine and it won't even feel like a chore anymore so but I totally get it sometimes I don't feel like drawing either but even if I draw the crappiest looking thing I still put the pencil on the paper and I do something just so I can keep that bit of routine Justine Stone, I'll have, have a great night, Crayon Jack, and anyone else here. Thanks for stopping by, Justine. Let's see. Do you have a YouTube channel as well, Jack, or do you just, um, Kind of sketch and draw in the background.
try to update try to update the let's see Well, it looks like I'm here by myself right now. So maybe I'll turn the music back on a little bit. Kind of strange that there's not a whole lot of people out and about tonight on YouTube. I'm just trying to update the don't know how to update the thumbnail. I'm just trying to update the thumbnail here real quick. Bear with me just for a quick moment here.
just working on setting up a new thumbnail for the video. I have to go have fun coloring. Thanks so much, Jack. I really appreciate you stopping by. Again, later in the week for anyone who's watching and, and would like to come back again most likely it'll be Friday night um, I'm not sure what time but if you hit the bell in the, um, the subscriber section there you'll be notified when I start to stream again my dogs are up and wandering right now so let's hope I don't wash these colors out because I have a tendency of laying down too much color and then they start to get weird
I guess it doesn't help that I didn't tell anyone that I was streaming, so... Alright guys, well since there's nobody hanging around tonight, I'm probably going to just finish up the hair here and um, wow, and there we go, there's the streaking that I was talking about. I'll probably just finish up the hair here and um, unless someone comes in in the next few minutes, but kind of strange. It's odd for me to be streaming and then there's no one here, so it's a, kind of a little embarrassing to be honest with you. And again, it is a work night and a school night. visitor working her way over here. Is this necessary? Guys, this is Luna. Do we need to be up here tonight? Okay, you gotta move her along. Come on. You're getting fur all over everything. Come on, kitty. Come on. No, no, you have you have to let go. You have to let go. There we go. So yeah, I'm just going to finish doing the bit of the hair here, and maybe I'll finish this um, on Friday.
can't seem to stay inside the lines working on this crystal paper. And the colors are coming out very drained on the video as well because her hair is a really dark red. And on the video, it's showing up more with a light brown color. I don't know, maybe again, maybe it's just my, maybe it's just my monitor again. I'll have to check that out. I need to have one more darker color. I'm gonna go with E37, where's E37? Put a few more red streaks in her hair. Even though it, I don't know why it's not showing up red, it's frustrating. But I still can't do too much more with her hair because it looks like I'm trying to almost go overboard with the color. And it's starting to have some white splotchy spots, and I don't want that. supposed to match with the colors that I've used according to my color chart, but it seems to be standing out quite a bit. back in with this marker. Right here it's really bothering me because I've got a streak from one of the other markers that had a darker color on it. I don't know why I have so much trouble. I will get through this. She'll start looking a lot better when I get some color and everything in the face. And I'm going to be using gouache for the background as well. And um, I have my Karen Dash gouache here. But I, I think unless uh, um, a few people show up to the stream, like I said, I'm going to just um, finish the hair and call it done. Because I don't want to be... That's not that dark. 837. I don't want to be streaming by myself. definitely have some better music for Friday night as well because hi there how's it going oh I think I'm froze up a little It's a little lonely here tonight on the stream. It's been people popping in here and there, but no one seems to be able to stay in chat. Which is all fine. It's good. I appreciate those that did stop by. Just got home from work. What? Really? What? You're probably not in the same time zone as me. It's um, just about 9 o'clock here. I 
I actually have to work in the morning, so I probably won't be streaming too late, but I did buy a new camera, and I don't have to stream with my cell phone anymore, so I would, thought I would give it a go tonight, but it doesn't seem to be many people um, out and about, or no one's really stopping into the stream, so... I'm just going to clue up in a bit and maybe come back again on Friday when maybe there's some more people around. You're on the East Coast. Wow, you're even later. Anyway, it's, it's 9 o'clock here, so East Coast, that's what, 11.30? 9, 10, 11, yeah. Because my parents are on the East Coast as well in Newfoundland, so I kind of I have to juggle the time with them as well. What markers are you using? Camera light looks great. I was actually thinking the camera is a little bit dark, um, so I, I thought there was a, a, an issue with the um, with the lighting, but I'm using my Copics. I'm trying to use my Copics anyway. <laughs> I'm using a different paper that I'm not used to using, and I feel like I'm struggling the whole way. But I'm not. Uh, I'm not giving up. I'm using some Bristol paper, um, and it's it's very hard to work on for me. So maybe I'll have to go back in with some coloring pencils or something later and and fix things up. But that's what's happening. I'm gonna have this. Um, a, I was supposed to be recording this for um, the art channel as a speed through, but it looks like my camera shut off a long time ago and I forgot to turn it back on, so I don't know if, uh, if this is going to be a video now or not because I can't seem to get my stuff straight. I run out of things. Um, after you live, you can download and edit if you want. I couldn't do that, couldn't I? I didn't think about doing that because I have my DSLR recording here as well. I did not think of that. Thank you for reminding me. If you haven't noticed, I'm working on some Jumanji fan art. <laughs> I watched Jumanji the other night and uh, decided to uh, do some fan art. I thought the movie was pretty cool. I think I'm going to be done working on the hair because I feel like I'm just making matters worse here. Music is nice. I can't wait to see it. The Jumanji movie is really good. I really enjoyed it. I um, I wanted to play Spotify, but I know YouTube doesn't like people playing music like that in the background. So I actually went on YouTube and found a no copyright um, playlist. So that's what I'm just playing in the background. It was either this calming music or some rave music that I also found, so I, I thought the calm music might have went over a little bit better. <laughs> oh, I'm making a mess. I hate working with red. Red is like the color that I try to avoid like the plague. hate using red. Well, I used to stream on Twitch as well, but I don't have any followers over there, so it kind of got boring streaming on Twitch, but they really don't care what you play. But in the playback, you just if, if you play copyright music, um, in the playback they, they mute it and you don't have any audio. But I kind of like that idea, but you don't even get that option on YouTube, which kind of sucks. So... So do 
you you don't do any live streaming at all, right? I haven't um, I haven't really seen a video uploaded on your channel in a while. Uh, yeah, you're the only other person that I have here to talk to, so I'm definitely talking to you. The other person that's watching is myself, <laughs> so you're the only other person that's here. How sad is that? I'm watching my own live stream. It's the only way that I can actually see the comments, so I have no choice but to watch myself. I know, sad. video stacked up just need to do some finishes and upload and just not have gotten to it let me go share awesome <laughs> I'll probably be streaming maybe until 9 30 provided I can get a few people here to keep the uh, to keep the stream um, entertaining but I was just about to pack up um, when he popped in was saying it's, it's kind of embarrassing when you're streaming and there's no one watching. few other places here in the picture. lost my dogs. I don't know what they're doing. It's like when you have kids and your kids are very quiet, that's when you should be scared. Well, it's the same way with my dogs. They're very quiet. I don't know where they are or what they're doing, so it makes me a little bit worried. A little bit worried. appreciate that. I guess if you left the stream there, you probably missed me saying that, um, yes, okay, speak of the dog. Okay, go lay down. Okay, I need another 30 minutes, okay? Another 30 minutes. Go put your wet nose away. Go ahead, go on. I have a dog that's bothering me. I was just saying, 
Come on. I was just saying that, uh, stop. I was trying to say that I, I lost my dogs in, in the process of doing this. And they were being very quiet, and it was like when you have kids and the kids are very quiet, you don't know what they're doing, you should worry. And then they start coming in the room. What I was going to say was, just before you came, just before you came along, I was going to get ready to um, to pack up because there was nobody here in the stream, and it was kind of embarrassing to be streaming, and it was just me here, and I was watching myself, so well, that's pretty bad. Pretty bad. came home today and Sadie, my dog, ate our leather sofa. Oh no! She ate the cushion? Oh good god. You wouldn't want to hear the horror stories of the dog that we have here. It's nothing but horror stories. I'll tell you one anyway. We got her as a rescue and I won't go into the into the story about how we got her or why we got her because it's it's really sad and it's probably hard for a lot of people to listen to. And I did um, I did talk about it on one of the um, previous streams that I did. But Evie, the black dog that we have, what is going on in there? Um, <laughs> we, we got her as a rescue, um, I think back in 2013. In the first year that we had her, she cost us at least three to $4,000 in damages in the house um, because she was a dog that lived outside for a long, long time. Um, probably the first six to eight months of her life. And uh, we first tried to get her to, to, you know, do her thing in the house where she could be comfortable and get used to us. and. And everything but anyway she ate her table and um, yeah she, she chewed the legs off our table she wrecked the door she wrecked the door frames like the moldings around the door she ate two PlayStation controllers DVDs games you name it shoes she ate everything so I understand how you must feel when your dog ate your 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 couch because um, I've been there I've been there. We've come home to having um, our couch torn pieces, like fluff all over the floor. It's really sad because she basically, we didn't want to get rid of her because we knew if we didn't keep her and she went to live with someone else, they may have put her down because of how she was and we didn't feel right doing that. So we pushed through it and today she is like one of the best dogs we've ever had. But the first year that we had her was a nightmare. A nightmare. And we've had her for about five years now. So the first year was horrible. We almost, almost gave her back to the adoption place. But we couldn't, we couldn't find it in ourselves to do it. But she's good now. She's, she doesn't eat our stuff anymore unless we leave it out. And she's a dog. She's going to be nosy and get into things anyway. But she doesn't go looking for our stuff to eat, so that's a good thing. It could be worse. It could be worse. Let's see. Way to go. Oh, that's great. I know how you feel. Uh, I call her Nosy Rosie. That is cute. What kind of dog is she?
She's a Jack Russell Corgi mix, we think. But <laughs> she must be cute. She's a, an awful small dog to do um, to do that much damage. <laughs> uh, Evie, the one that uh, is the rescue that I was talking about, she's German Shepherd and Husky mix. She she's got um, the stance of a German Shepherd, but she looks like a Siberian Husky. Oh look, she doesn't really. Um, like she's not fully Siberian Husky looking, but she she's got that look to her. Hey Rusty, how's it going? Oh, dogs are cute, you know. They they do the worst things, and you get mad at them in the moment, and then you you just gotta look back, and what else can you do but laugh at it, really? All you can do is laugh. I wouldn't give my dogs up for the world. That was one of the big things when it came to us moving. And we both agreed that, you know, the dogs had to go. We weren't going to rehome any of our pets. We are downsizing, so one less thing to move with us. We're actually moving too. I'm sure you, you've you seen the posts all over my Facebook. But yeah, we're moving too, and I can't wait to go. But yeah, that was one of the big things, that the, the pets go with us, and uh, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, because we didn't get them to rehome them. I wouldn't be able to, to give up my pets, not after having them for such a long time. Yeah, I've been posting the move quite a bit on the Facebook, on my Facebook page, the personal page, anyway. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Been a bit of a rough start to the stream here tonight. I've been streaming for almost two hours, but it's all good. It's all good. <clears throat> are you moving to a new place or are you just getting rid of some things? I think you said, I think I missed, I think I missed, the po oh, I can scroll up, look at that. I was thinking that once the, um, once the comments were gone past, I couldn't scroll up anymore, and I'm always worried about going back and missing people's comments, but. Oh, there you go, you did say you were moving. Guys, I'm horrible at keeping track of, um, of things. Hey, Rusty, you know, I was talking, I was asking um, the Junking Data Girl if she was moving, but I did go up and read that. She did say that, yes, she's possibly, well, depending on job situation, we might have to move. That's basically why we're moving in August, um, because my boyfriend's actually um, going to end up losing his job because they're downsizing at the location where he's working, and... Uh, it's, it's given us the, um, the push that we need to move because we wanted to move anyway, so it's all good. We're completely okay with it. We're not okay that he's going to lose his job, but we're okay that we have to, that we're moving because we want to move, but it'll all work out in the end. Uh, yes. Well, he's already been laid off once, and they kind of rescinded his, his layoff. So, we kind of know that it's going to be 
as of right now, it's looking to be the either the end of July or the first week of August. So that's what he's being told, whether or not that's going to be the case at that point in time. But we have our house up for sale and we're, we're already half packed because we thought we were moving actually in February. So we already have the house half packed up. So we're we're already on the ball to be able to get things rolling because we're, we're really excited to get out of here <laughs> if you can't tell. Where we're living is not really a great place. It's good for some people but it's not good for us and on more than one more than one reason. Um, one being that we're eight hours away from eight hours away from uh, Winnipeg so we're we're way way up in the boonies and there's there's nothing here to be honest with you um, so it, it's really hard to to find things to do there you know the um, shopping here is not great like there's a lot of things that we don't like about living here so it, it's it's the time's come for us to, to move on. I've been here for eight years and uh, my boyfriend or fiance, um, he's lived here all of his life. So he wants out as well. He's ready for a change. And what is this? Number two, I need zero. I'm going to go for another 20 minutes and then I'm going to call it a night and probably pick this up again on uh, maybe Friday night. I have um, I have work in the morning at 8 so actually I have, to, I have work at 9 but I usually get up at 8 and I don't sleep great at night so I need to go to bed early. coming out not too bad not too bad at all I have my little reference picture off here to the side if anyone's wondering what the screen is I'm also fairly new with Copix so if anyone is watching this and wondering what in the heck I'm doing I'm trying to be at work at 10, work until 8. I think she looks great. Thank you. I don't, uh, I don't have long work days, which is great. Um, in a way, it's not great for the paycheck, but I mean, it's great for the fact that I only work five hours a day. I'm currently working at a museum. So um, I go to work at 9, and then I have an hour for lunch from 12 to 1, and then I'm done at 3. But I have to work every single weekend, which kind of sucks. But it's only until June because uh, at the end of June I'm done. It was only like a, a term type thing because I was moving and they knew that. So they were nice enough to, um, to give me a job until I was ready to move. And I know I'm not leaving in June, but I need the month of July to finish packing the house and do what, uh, what are renovations that are left to do. So that worked out pretty well.
sorry guys, I'm very bad at multitasking. Very bad. I'm still learning about all of this streaming stuff and the best times to stream and you know when people are kind of out and about. So maybe once I, I stream for a bit, I'll kind of get a, a knack of who's out and about at what time. So I'll be able to stream at a better time. And it's a little bit difficult as well because I tend to stream. I mentioned earlier in the stream, I think when people weren't here, that um, I have to pick and choose when I stream. And usually it's when I'm home alone. So it's just easier that way. to do this girl's shirt red and I'm dreading it so much. Try to plan it so you can give a heads up. I totally get that you may not be able to plan. Feel sorry you are all alone. Well there was a couple people here at the beginning maybe for about a half hour or so but I did mention that I didn't kind I, I didn't really shout it out that I was going to be streaming but going forward I think I'll um Maybe I can schedule some things. Like I'm, I'm still learning on how to put up the schedule and, and all that stuff because I've only been streaming for like the past two weeks, three weeks maybe. So I'm still fairly new to it. So I'm learning as I go. I'm sure things will get easier and people will be around more. It's all good. It's kind of my own fault. So I kind of probably picked a bad time too. I don't think there's a lot of people active on here on Tuesday nights. But it is what it is. It's not completely horrible. I have company intermi intermittently. I think I uh, I seen your post, but I was too late. I think I posted on Facebook that I was streaming about an hour into the stream because there was nobody here at that point in time. So I'm like, somebody come and talk to me. But it's all good. I also mentioned that I'm stream I used to stream on Twitch, but I didn't have any followers over there and no one would ever come and talk to me over there. Um, so I stopped streaming on Twitch. So But it's all good. It's all good. I find Twitch is a little bit intimidating to stream on because you got all of the gamers and everything over there and then you've got people that have been streaming for a very long time and then it kind of feels intimidating like I'm walking in on somebody else's turf. I know that might sound a little bit dumb but it's kind of have a feel about the whole Twitch thing. Of course, I'm using a marker that I don't have a refill for. Oh, yes, I do. Look at that. So I don't know if anyone that's watching that uses Copix, but I just recently learned, like in the past couple of days, apparently the price of Copix are increasing. I don't know if it's only um, in the location that I heard of in Asia. Um, but apparently Copics went up by $1.40, but I don't know if it's just in 
in the couple stores that I heard this person talking about, or if it's going to be a worldwide thing, as if they aren't expensive enough already. I've never been on Twitch. I might have an account. I think I've streamed on Twitch a total of three, four times maybe. And I know you kind of have to be on there for a while before you build up a following, but it's kind of embarrassing when you're when you're on there and nobody is watching your channel and I don't know, it made me feel like kind of an outcast. Uh, I have alcohol markers, and I don't know how to use them at all. Good lord, that's expensive. Yeah, they're going, like, I know here in Canada, like, right now, for one of these sketch markers, I have to pay $9 plus tax for them, so I'm looking at, like, eleven fifty for a marker, give or take the taxes. And so, if they're, if they're going up, um, that's, that's a bit much. But I, um, as of maybe two weeks, I'll have the complete Chow set, the collection of the Copic markers. Uh, my boyfriend has been giving them to me for Christmas for the past two years. So I have everything but the 36, 36E set. And um, I have that one coming in the mail for my birthday. So um, I have all the Chows after that. So then I just need to collect what sketch markers that I want. Work it and own it. You're a great artist. It's 11.50. Oh, I guess you need to go so you can go to work in the morning. I really appreciate that you stopped by. And alcohol markers are really fun to work with. They take a bit of practice and clearly I still have a lot to learn. But they are very fun to work with. Oh, <laughs> eleven fifty the price. Yeah, it's it's expensive. Um, I usually i I get a discount at one of the art stores here, but they don't provide a discount on the Copics because they feel like they're um, they feel like they're already charging a low price for the Copics. But a refill is about ten dollars, and then. The markers, these are, yeah, $8.99, um, and if the price goes up, it's going to be almost $12 per marker, so, and it sucks. These are all the colors that I do have right now. These are the ones that I have. These are a combination of um, Sketch and Chows. I probably won't collect them all, even though I probably, I probably will, but I shouldn't. Um, but I do have, um, most of these are Chows. I probably got like, maybe 50 Sketch markers, and some of those are duplicates. So, that's what I have at the moment. That's not including the 36, um, 36 set that's coming in the mail. I don't know if I'll have to wait until May to get them, or if he'll give them to me when they actually come. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe I can convince him to give me the markers early. <laughs> he'll probably feel bad for hiding them in the house anyway, so he'll probably just give them to me. I've had to redo my um, Copic chart twice already because the colors, they're fading. I can't ever seem to get the colors to, to stay the way they should. I actually, um, I don't like using reds, and a lot of these came in the in the chow sets. Mo yeah, I'm looking at them right now in my little case here, and a lot of them came with the chows. Um, but I, I have to paint this girl's shirt red, and I avoid red like the plague. And I, yeah, I hate, but I really like green. <laughs> <laughs> Greens and blues and purples are kind of my colors. Um, and I usually tend to stay away from yellows as well. I hate coloring and painting with yellow. But red, I hate, like, I detest doing anything with the color red. I hate it. Well, I think I'm going to, it's, it's almost 9.30, so I think I'm going to leave it at that for tonight. And... Um, maybe I'll schedule for Friday night to come back and, and finish this. But like I said, it's going to be, um, 
It's going to be a... What am I trying to say? It's getting, it's, it's getting a little bit late for me now, and my brain's starting to not function. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I'll schedule it so people know that I'm going to be here again Friday night. Um, and then I'll finish it then. I, I still have to use gouache to put a background in. And I still have to get all of her skin tone and everything colored and, and whatnot. So there's still quite a bit left to do. But it's going to be a speed paint on the channel maybe in a month or so. Because I'm trying to get ahead in, in videos for when I do move. So um, if people are watching this on the stream now at least. Then it'll be some time in between coming out as a speed paint as well. So... Um, you did great. Glad to keep you company. It was fun chatting. Good job. Thanks so much for stopping by. And, and, and don't feel bad that I was here by myself because it was my fault. So, <laughs> but uh, hopefully next time, like I said, hopefully when I stream again, people will, will come by and, and say hi and it'll be a good time for everybody. But I'm going to call it a uh, call of the night and I just wanted to say thanks for everyone that stopped by. And I will see everyone in the next, uh, in the next stream or the next video, whichever comes first. <laughs>